is back here with a brand new video for you guys today. Happy Hump Day! It's Wednesday, y'all. So, me, Kane, is back at it again. It's called my first slumber party story time. You know exactly where this is going. This is number 49 on trending, y'all. So, shout out to me, Kane. But let's check it on out, shall we? In about three, two. Hello, I'm Meat Canyon. What's up? I thought I would take a break from the parodies for a moment and tell you all a story from my life. A little chapter out of my book called My First Slumber Party. I was eight oh, years that old. Me back. The sun was Playing beginning to set, and, and I was full of excitement for the night ahead. Me and my friend Luke had been hanging out for a couple hours, playing video games and exchanging our collection of Pokemon cards. Luke's mother had a gorgeous smile, Whoa, offering us a never-ending supply of banana slices huh? for snacks. It was a normal night. At least, so I thought. Time for bed! We have church in the morning, and we have to get up real early! An ocean of disappointment flooded over me. I was not aware this was a part of the plan. When I think about going to heaven, it makes me just so happy. I want to go there so bad, I want to see my grandma and my grandpa. My youth pastor says they're waiting for me. I'll race you to my room. He left me this there alone it's like some game to or traverse some the shit. darkness of his house all by myself. Standing confused, I knew I had to push forward. I wasn't going to be the weird kid sitting alone at a friend's house. I had far too much pride. Luke's mother was at the sink washing dishes normally, but what caught my eye was the table. While giving us a never-ending supply of cut-up bananas, Luke's mother recklessly put the banana peels all over the Pokemon cards. Most notably, Why my Blaziken card, which I was obsessed with, since he was my starter in Ruby. I caught her attention by saying, Hey, my dad paid a lot for these cards. Oh. She approached me with her beautiful smile. Some more bananas? Would you like a snack before bed? I'm sorry for the tears. Mr. Roberts hasn't been acting normal lately. He's been... Luke's mother began to tremble talking about something, but I couldn't pay any attention. From the corner of my eye, I noticed something. A 40-count bag of combination pizza rolls. <laughs> Which was fucked because all she offered all night was cut up bananas. Yeah. It's like, if you have pizza rolls, why not just throw a couple in the oven for your guest? Let alone a child. But I digress. This is true. Hey, I'm up here. Come on. Come. It's time for prayer before bed. I don't like this shit. Can we get a light on, please? All this damn darkness. You gotta pray in the dark like this? What type of praying y'all doing? Let it press peace. It's not like they chanting in this bitch. You missed our prayer. Oh! I hope he got to a moose knuckle. Not. This is some sick shit. Hey. Oh! Do you want to play Donkey Konga? I didn't give an answer. I remained silent. Bitch, you just said it's still. time for bed. Suddenly, I was blinded by the light from Luke's TV. And there he was, hitting the plastic bongo drums and giggling to himself. But I noticed something. What the hell is wrong with him? I noticed that the door was still cracked, and the father was still lingering, looking into the room, right at my eyes. He pulled out a banana and started to eat it. The slow rotation of his jaw grating like steel on steel, his eyes never blinking, only staring. Forever staring. That's and that's where my memory ends. Fuck. And I have always been fascinated with religion and the afterlife ever since then. Though it leaves a sour taste in my mouth with a hint of banana. Take care, everyone. Good night, everybody. Well, you all, the moral of this story is sometimes it's okay to say no to slumber parties. 
you know, y'all, when I was coming up as a kid, thankfully I didn't have to deal with none of this type of weird shit when I was at somebody's slumber party, let alone my friends. Uh, but this was just straight creepy. And then first of all, that prayer, it didn't sound like a regular prayer. It sounded like they was on some chanting type coat shit. And then this man's whole crotch is in this boy face. You nasty motherfucker. Now you over here eating bananas all slow and shit. You dirty ass perverted pervert. Okay. You had a whole moose knuckle in his face. You know how they say camel toe? This motherfucker had a whole moose knuckle. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. I can only imagine the shit that Meatball has seen in his lifetime. But this was once again creepy, dark, but another good creation by the one and only me, Kane. And with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment below your thoughts on another one of me, Kane's creations. And you all, we are now over 3,000 subscribers. Thank you all once again. So please, I would like to do a QA and a for you all, give you some advice. You can ask me some questions about me, whatever you'd like. Let me know in the comment section. I will be putting up a community post very, very soon. If there's anything else I can react to for you guys, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, hit that notification bell button so you guys know the video below. To share the video with your friends, and I'll see you all in a minute. Taylor Ray, I'm out.